we do have another amazing story of a St. Jude family that we want to bring you. Of course, this time, this family resides in Sydney, Montana, and I was able to sit down and speak with them. Cedar, she got cancer when she was just a toddler, and her mom, Tana, says it was St. Jude that helped save her life. Take a look. By a glimpse. Well, I love riding my horse, and I do rodeo, and I love that. Cedar Havdi is fearless. I do an event that not a lot of people hear about called cutting. Growing up in eastern Montana, kids usually are. And it's really fun. But on top of all of that, she's resilient. Of course, she was just a little trooper, <laughs> just sweet and smiling. But mom Tana can't recall much of her daughter's bout with cancer without holding back a few tears. I don't know where to start. It started when Cedar was just 18 months old. She was extremely, extremely light sensitive. Tana noticing a yellowish shine to her daughter's eyes in pictures. Turns out Cedar was diagnosed with retinoblastoma. We are very strong Christians. And we knew that God was gonna show us the way. And he certainly did and he blessed us in so many ways along this journey. St. Jude is one of them. Cedar's cancer is rare with only 300 children diagnosed in the U.S. every year. They placed uh, a very small radioactive bead surgically in her eye. Do you remember that? No, I know that there's a scar around here somewhere. Yeah. The eye was saved thanks to treatment at St. Jude. Hey, I got to wear an eye patch and that was pretty cool. <laughs> Yes, we, we even had a pirate party. Cedar doesn't have any central vision in her eye and her peripheral vision is often double or blurry, but none of that is stopping her from being a typical teen. If I had to get a glass eye, I would still own it. I would, <laughs> I might even try to get crazy ones, <laughs> the crazy lenses. The Hovde family found life-changing treatment and lasting relationships at St. Jude but they also found hope. We, we might be Eastern Montana, Western North Dakota girls, but there's a little bit of Southern Belle in us now, isn't there, sweetie? Because Tana's baby is now the toughest cowgirl in Montana.